I shared with OG that you had some things you wanted to get off your chest. No, not get off my chest. Okay. I wanted to come over here to have a conversation with you, to hear you. I want to listen to, like, how we got here when it comes down to people who are being colorist. I am sorry that you ever felt that way. Just to be clear, it is what I experienced. I have not shared my feelings. Okay, can you explain that to me? Feelings on an emotional level, I have not shared that with anybody. Got it. Okay. Oh, yeah. I see what you're saying. I expressed what I experienced. Okay. I expressed what I witnessed. Why are you asking me questions like, this is an SAT? Come with the speaking points, you start talking, I'm going to listen, and I will give my opinion when it's time. We're the same skin color. So I have experienced plenty of racism but just not in this group of women of color. Yes, we are similar in complexion, but there's different things that go along with that, like facial features. What do you mean by that? I literally thought it was a, just a skin color thing. You have Western features. Your nose is slender. I have eccentric African features. I'm realizing I have to respect the fact that she is proud, understands, and is very educated about who she is as a dark, black-skinned African woman. And I acknowledge my ignorance in that. However, I've been through a lot of in my life. And I was hoping we could find common ground being black in America. You've been present for different events when I've been called different names, correct? I have been present. I, there's a, a specific situation I can think about where you were called unattractive. You also made fun of my complexion. You forget that I at said the crystal you was party. ugly. I didn't say nothing no, about the you complexion. You made fun of my complexion. I can remember three or four of just you. Wait, wait. I did something that made you feel like I was being a color? Not made me feel I'm like sorry, anything. I'm sorry, you experienced colorism with me? The moment when... I'm getting my phone to defend myself to somebody who printed out paper text messages. Exhibit A, September 5th, 2013. Chatty, let's do lunch. Let me get my text messages. Okay. Evelyn's receipts are hilarious, but OG's receipts are kind of disturbing. That is a form of colorism because it's always a lighter person versus a darker person. And you, the person who is saying that you relate closest to my complexion, keep choosing the lighter side. Maybe that was petty of me, and I just didn't like you at the time and like Evelyn. OK. For her to be digging up all this old stuff right now, I feel like I'm talking to a brick wall. To me, there's nothing more to talk about. This is all that I can do. I wanted to hear you, and if you don't have anything to say, then there's nothing for me to listen to. I feel nothing but good vibes from Kristen. She seems to have swallowed her pride. She's not confrontational. She's not accusatory. But OG has to be the one to receive Kristen, and I don't think she's ready for this energy. Now, if somebody of a lighter complexion or a different ethnicity is doing the same exact thing I'm doing, and worse, taking it to a physical level, if you're not holding that person accountable, that is colorism. Let me say something real you quick. You can talk. You guys sit up here and act like OG is super aggressive, Thank you. Right? I never said that no, just no, now. No, no, no. This is why. No. I've never once seen her put her hands on anybody, but there have been people in this group that have thrown tables, mm -hmm. they have thrown yeah. drinks. Yeah. No, it's because this is fact. Nobody gets called aggressive and nobody gets held accountable. Well, wait a second. A lot of us have. What was I called? Aggressive, crazy, weird, over the top, make it about her, all that. So we got to keep the honesty between all of us. I'm not sure what the f is wrong with Jackie, but I've seen these outbursts before. She that, no, I'm not letting you go. You f whore. She do kind of look crazy right now. Take me to the mother OK, so then there we go. Thank you. People have said some out of pocket things. Like, let's be real, we all have, but deep down heart racism, like, absolutely not, no. I mean, the last conversation that you and I had, oh, gee, you were saying you were going to break my jaw. Shut up. Shut up. You shut Listen, up. Listen, I'll break your It's not jaw. about breaking nobody. Okay, Why can't you stop. mind your business Why and let me talk to her? OK, now y'all go oh, talk. Oh, God. You want to go talk? Stop touching me. I didn't touch you. And if you I touch you, did. then what? You put your job. You have a mouth, too, Kristen. I do have a So mouth. I was letting you know, you keep bucking up, and I will break your jaw. And I honestly don't see anything wrong with that, personally, because I had enough restraint not to hit you. 
for the first time, I was able to look at this woman without screaming and yelling, without any negativity, without feeling anything but understanding and instead I feel like it got flipped and turned and squished and everything than what it was supposed to be. I know the that I've said and I know the that I've said in anger but on everything I cannot feel like I ever made you feel that I was a colorist. I don't feel like I, I am even close to that box. I can't have a conversation with someone who pretends to get it one moment and doesn't get it. It's not and that I'm not pretending to get it. These women are clearly suffering from selective hearing. They still don't get it. It's baffling to me. Because this conversation I... for me is closed. I'm done. Okay. Hi, it's Evelyn Lozada from Basketball Wives. Subscribe to VH1's YouTube channel so you don't miss anything this season.